It's the magic of Mount Vernon. One of the most iconic locations in American history, George Washington's homestead, meticulously cultivated, thanks in part to this man. Ooh. I talk turkey, yeah. That's Dean Norton, and everything you see here, well, he's had a hand in it. This is really, Mount Vernon's my life. For 55 years, he has been the director of horticulture and livestock. I know, that's really, when you say a few decades, that's one thing, but half a century, oh my gosh. Since the age of 16. But those were the days. He's worked at Mount Vernon. Yeah, 1969, and, and the crew back then were almost all World War II vets. They were gruff, boy. They, I, when I walked into that ground splitting, I had never heard words like that before in my life and didn't know what half of them meant. At what point did it start to evolve into something much more than a job for you? Of course, I started thinking I was going to be doing plants and animals, but it became really clear that it was all about history as well. And you'd be hard pressed to find someone who knows more about our first president than Dean Norton. Washington was a very detailed person and very observant. And, and you're, the most observant people are really the best people because they, they take time to look at something and, and study it and understand it. And that's exactly what Norton has done for half a century here at Mount Vernon, longer than George Washington himself lived here. Our goal is to make this property as close as possible to the 18th century so that if Washington were to a return for some reason or another, he would come back and go, things are looking pretty good. It's like strolling through a time capsule, all of it dedicated to bringing 18th century aesthetic to life from the livestock to the iconic gardens. Walking the Bowling Green Serpentine Avenues was the evening entertainment. And this would have been the highlight if someone strolled. If you were looking back on your career, would you consider yourself an artist, a scientist? What would you, any of those things? Well, yeah, it's really kind of all of the above, isn't it? Um, but the plan was all laid out. I, I, it didn't take my creativity. I'm just putting Washington's thoughts and his creativity uh, back in the ground for him. So this is his design, his garden. Norton knows every nook, every cranny, every secret. We're on our way to Seven Drippers, which is an area that is um, documented as being a spot where George Washington, at the end of his riding around his, his five farms, would stop to refresh his horse and possibly get a drink himself. Okay. Very special spot on the property. When you drink this, Simone, you are part of the Mount Vernon family. I hope you know that. Okay. Now you're stuck with Cheers. me. I'm on your team now. Cheers. All right, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Clean, fresh, it's great. Yeah. From hidden springs to hemp. Hemp is industrial. Hemp is not cannabis. It's not marijuana. And so it's there for our interpretation's sake. When I think of George Washington, I don't necessarily think of hemp. Every uh, winter, he would repair his um, fishing nets with the hemp twine that they would get off of him. He said plant it everywhere on the property. And over half a century, as Norton dedicated his life to honoring the history and legacy of Mount Vernon, he's also built one of his own. The employees are my family. Uh, I met my wife here. Suzanne worked at Mount Vernon, my wife, uh, for 10 years. And it was really Suzanne and I working together that brought a lot of these gardens to life. The couple raising four girls. My children, four, they think of this as their backyard. And, and nothing was more exciting than walking through a garden and you hear someone call it, hey, Dad. But for Norton, it's time. He's calling it a career at the end of the year. What will you miss the most? Walking up the hill and, um, and just seeing the house. You just think it's not real. It's so beautiful. It's so perfect. And I have the opportunity to come in in the mornings when no one's here, in the evenings when no one's here. Um, I will miss that the most.